What's going on, movie goers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, we got some brand new early reactions for Scream 5, Scream 2022. Now, you guys, there are no spoilers in this video. I will not be talking about any kind of early reactions that are dealing with spoilers because I want to experience this movie like all of you guys. You want to go into it blinded, not knowing that much. I've seen one trailer. That is it. I've seen no movie clips, nothing at all. I'm excited. I got to go back and watch Scream 1, 2, 3, and 4, with 4 being a guilty pleasure of mine. It's not the greatest movie. It's not the best, you know, out of this entire franchise, but it's entertaining. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. I did just recently purchase Scream, the original one, on 4K a couple of weeks ago. As you can see, I still haven't had time to watch it because I've been busy. But I love and adore this franchise. I love Ghostface. I love what Wes Craven has created. I just love the, the, the lovable and likable cast that this franchise has. I mean, with Nev Campbell, David Arquette, you know what I mean? Everybody's just so lovable. And that first film is so iconic to the horror genre within itself. It means so much coming from a horror fan. You know, it, I still can't believe it. The year 2022, we get Michael Myers and Halloween ends at the end of the year. And we get Ghostface in January. Who would have thought? I mean, I love the idea of bringing back these iconic slasher figures from the 90s, you guys. I, I absolutely love and adore it, and I cannot wait to see it, you guys. Oh, I'm super stoked. I just wish Wes Craven was around so he can really, you know, it just sucks, you know, because he started all this. You know, he started all this, and, you know, I definitely think with the cast and crew, the filmmakers, the directors, you know, Nev Campbell and them, you know, the Holy Trinity coming back, you know, they, they really, really wanted to make sure that this was done right and, you know, paying homage to Wes Craven and what he created over there, man. I'm, I'm excited, man. I cannot wait, you guys. Let's dive deep into some of these early reactions. Let's get into it. Heard nothing but good things so far. So, wow. Hashtag screen movie has teeth. Hollywood came out to play. Avoid spoilers at all costs. Mute necessary words here on Twitter. Oh, if you want the full experience, make sure you've seen Scream and Scream 4. Interesting. Interesting. Scream and Scream 4. Why not Scream 2 and Scream 3? Is Stu the killer in this one? Possibility. Very good possibility. Scream is a bloody good time and serves as a touching homage slash continuation to Wes Craven's iconic franchise and features some of the, gross, the grossest and most original kills of this series. Legacy cast perfectly blends with the fresh meat. That's what I like to hear. I was a little nervous about this, you know, this new up and coming cast of the movie. Because, you know, like I said, the cast so far for this franchise has been really good with Scream 1, 2, and 3. You know, 4, I can really, you know, whatever. But, you know, I, you know, just being a big fan of the original, you know, first three Scream movies, man. I just love it. Fuck me. Wow. I have finally seen Scream 2022. Hashtag Scream movie and it delivers. And then some. If this franchise means something to you and it means so damn much to me, you'll leave satisfied, moved, and wanting more. Oh yeah, it's scary and funny as hell. You know, they gotta add the, the you know the comedic moments. I mean, you know, with Deputy Dewey, you know, he was the comedic relief, you know, in this franchise, especially in that first movie, dude. When he picks up the phone and he's like, hello? <laughs> That shit is so funny, man. I love David Arquette. Love David Arquette. Continuing on. As someone who has worshipped the original Scream movie and absolutely adores Scream 2, I have to tell you, I absolutely loved the new Scream sequel. It's directed with its such furious energy and both a love letter to the original and entirely fresh. I am beyond ecstatic. That's what I like to hear. What a welcome return to Woodsboro Scream is a razor sharp bloody introspection of the genre and Wes Craven's legacy all the feels and one hell of a genre to start 2022 my horror heart is so full oh I love it the the, the screen movie is it the nostalgia all of it took me back to the original film instantly the cast was great it's hilarious and of course the jump scares got me good shout out to the writers on this one because the writing is superb Writing's everything, everything in a movie, everything. No matter if you've got great actors, the writing isn't there, the movie's about to be, but who? <laughs> Continue on on. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, you guys, downloading real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, the new screen is a blast and my favorite since the original. 
There are some sharp writing here and a nice balance of well-crafted scares and amusing commentary on modern horror. It also pokes a lot of fun at itself too while remaining a bloody who who done it in a good <laughs> who done it in a damn good time. I'm a fan. Interesting. The new scream is the real deal. Such a well-written script that keeps you guessing. I love that. That's what it's about. You don't know who the killer is going to be. And that's the whole mysterious behind the Scream franchise. You had the first one. It was Billy and Stu. Then the second one was Billy's mother and the crazy film student. And the third one was her brother that we had no idea. I like that. I'm mean, really, really excited about that, man. I cannot wait. The fifth Scream movie is the closest I felt to the brilliance, excitement, and horror of Wes Craven's 1996 masterpiece. Hands down the best Scream since the original. Beautifully honors the legacy of the first film while bringing a fresh yet brutal tone to the franchise. Nothing but great things, and I'm excited. I'm really excited. You know, I was a little skeptical. You know, I saw the trailer, I enjoyed it, but I was a little skeptical. You know, I was like, Scream, you know, Wes Craven's not involved. Got the original cast. I don't know how this is going to be, you know. I talk to my brother about this all the time. We're, we're big horror nerds. And so we go back and forth, you know what I'm talking about. And, you know, we were, I'm, he's still like, oh, I have no interest in it. He's not a huge, he's, he doesn't like Scream whatsoever. You know what I mean? Besides the original film, he doesn't care for the franchise. But I actually, like I said, I love and adore it. So, you know, I was very skeptical. But seeing these nice positive reactions definitely brings a lot of great reinsurance that we are in good hands with Scream 5, Scream 2022, you guys. I'm excited. It comes out next week. Did you get your tickets, you guys? Please be safe. Everybody, please be safe. Please be safe. We live in a very dangerous time right now. And I care about all of my viewers. I care about all of my subscribers. Let's continue to grow, you guys. We'll post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought about the first early reaction for Scream 2022. Thoughts and opinions. Post them down below. Peace.